Hello and welcome to the Academy. So let us take up today's editorials on the Hindu newspaper. So we're going to take up the editorial, the telecom law upgrades for a digital authoritarian state. So this editorial critically analyzes the recently passed telecommunications bill from Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. So we'll take up this article along with the critical analysis done in the PRS regarding the uh, telecom bill, which has been recently passed and discuss it in a detailed manner. So the context is simple. The bill has been passed by both Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. So it seeks to replace the Indian Telegraph Act, Indian Telegraph Act of 1884 and uh, Indian Wireless Telegraphy Act of 1933 is being replaced by the, uh, the telecom Telecommunications Bill of 2020. So we'll first uh, look into the key features of the bill. And then we'll move on to the critical analysis of the bill along with the uh, past Supreme Court judgments on the telecommunications and its regulations. So first, we'll look into the key features. So the first key feature of the telecom telecommunication bill is the authoriz authorization for telecom related activities. So there is a provision for authorization Previously, there was a provision for licensing. However, it has been replaced by the new word that is authorization. So this authorization will be given by the central government to telecom service providers and telecom operators to establish and expand their telecom networks. So this is the first key feature of providing authorization to telecom service providers that is TSPs and telecom networks. And the second key feature is there is a provision of spectrum assignment. So this spectrum assignment will be based on the auction. Strictly it will be based on the auction. So we have seen the 2G scam. This scam is known namely for providing the spectrum based on the uh, acquaintances not based on impartiality and the uh, auction. The 2G spectrum emerged based on the arbitrary allocation of spectrum to the close acquaintances of the government. So in order to curb such uh, scams like conditions, the auction provision is being included in the bill and there are certain exceptions given in the bill based on certain grounds. So these grounds are like a security basis and disaster management. So based on security, the army will provide it. Army will be provided a, a different spectrum. Only army will be the player and there will be no competitor for it. And for disaster management to have a better communication. And uh, nobody should claim monopoly on such information, which is essential for disaster management. So hence, there are certain exceptions where the government can provide a specific spectrum for specific purposes. So this is about second uh, uh, key feature. And the third key feature is the power for central government. The power, the bill empowers the central government to intercept the communications and also it empowers central government to search and seize the telecom networks. So any messages or class of messages between two or more individuals can be intercepted. So what is this interception? Uh, the government, the central government is empowered to listen or monitor the messages between individuals and also the voice calls or voice messages. And hence the government is empowered to block and monitor such voice messages, voice calls. So the ground is also given, the grounds of such interception is also given. The grounds are security of the state and then friendly, friendly relations with the foreign countries. And then public order, to maintain public order, such a, a drastic measure can be taken. And then 
the prevention to incite incitement to violence so on such ground also the interception can be made so this provision the broader provision of empowerment of interception and search and seizure this provision enables the government to shut down the internet also and dismantle the telecom services based on the same similar grounds the four similar grounds on which the interception can be made and also the government may take temporary possession of any telecom infrastructure when it comes to public safety so based on the provision of public safety and concerns over public safety the government can take over a temporary possession of the telegram or telecommunication infrastructure and the fourth key feature is the protection to user protection to telecom users so what is this protection so here telecom services should provide online services it should provide online services particularly to address the grievances of the telegram users the grievances like malware attack like receiving unnecessary advertising messages which is annoying to the telecom uh, telecom users so all these grievances can be raised by the telecom users through this online platform so this upholds the consumer rights and consumer safety and uh, protection and the next uh, key feature is the punishment punishment and penalty provision so here uh, the, any unauthorized extension of telecom services and providing access to unnecessary access or unauthorized access to telecom data and infrastructure for outsiders or any unauthorized individuals will be punished by the central government and then the sixth key feature is the provision related to dispute settlement so here the officer will be authorized by the central government in order to adjudicate any civil disputes any civil disputes and appeal and the appeal against such uh, adjudication by the officer authorized by central government will lies with the telegram settlement of disputes or tele telecom disputes and settlement provision the appellate tribunal so here the telecom dispute and settlement appellate tribunal should take this appeal within 30 days so there is a time bound disposal of disputes which is given in this article and the uh, next key feature is sixth key feature is biometric authentication is a necessary requirement in order to purchase the sim cards which helps to track and identify the criminals who are involved in security threatening and anti social activities so in order to track these kind of uh, incidents in our society the biometric authentication is being made mandatory while purchasing the sim cards so all these 6 to 7 are the key features of the telecommunications bill of 2023 so now let us move on to critically analyze regarding the concerns of the telecommunications bill of 2023 where we'll take up the concerns given particularly in this editorial plus from the concerns from the prs so let us move on to concerns so the first and foremost concern is the central government power to intercept the communication so the interception power for the central government itself is a first and foremost concern so here the grounds like security of state public order are not well defined the words are just given and there is no definition for those words and there are no particular intensity 
of the crime on which the interception can be made. There is no mark of any intensity or parameter of such intensities of crime. So these words are vague in nature and this provides excessive interpretation power for officials. So it might lead to executive excesses. So executive will wield unbridled power of intercepting the messages, the voice calls based on public order. And this term is not defined and it is very vague in nature and this provides executive excesses. And the second point of concern is the safeguards and uh, the safety or uh, safeguards and procedures. The safeguards and procedures involved within the interception is not provided in the bill. So under the broader heading of the uh, interception power, there is lack of well-defined uh, grounds on which the interception can be made. And the second point is uh, the procedures and safeguards against such inter interception is not provided in the bill. Rather, the government will provide it through notifications. So the safeguards against such interpreta uh, interceptions is not given in the bill. So this bypasses the legislative scrutiny and accountability. So this is the second sub point under the larger concern of interception. And the third sub point within the larger concern of interception is as of now, there is no parliamentary, parliamentary or judicial oversight regarding the orders of such interception. And also in addition to that, there is no independent regulatory body. There is no independent regulatory body which oversights the orders and approvals given for such interception. So this is uh, one of the uh, sub-concern raised under, under larger interception power. So as of now, there is a telecom rules of 2017, which authorizes the Home Secretary in order to order and approve the interception action. So here the government itself is sitting in the place of adjudicating the orders given for interception. So we need certain parliamentary and judicial oversight. And the fourth sub point of concern is this power may lead to mass surveillance. So the government will build unbridled power of intercepting as many as individuals it is possible whenever the public order is disturbed. So this might lead to mass surveillance and it violates the Article 21 of right to privacy. And then uh, the second point of the second larger concern regarding the telecommunication bill is uh, the power to search and seizure. Power to search and seizure. So here, uh, the, here also there are no necessary safeguards provided against these search and seizures. So this is second point of concern. And the third point of larger concern is need for biometric authentication. So this need of biometric authentication goes against the principle of right to privacy where the sensitive personal data are collected by private entities. So this might violate the right to privacy. And then the fourth point is the authorization for telecom services also include internet based services. So this article particularly criticizes on this point where many internet based services in the current times are OTT platforms like WhatsApp where messages can be sent on these OTT platforms. So here they should also seek authorization by the government for having a inter internet based services. So this article says that it is a revival of license Raj because the authorization is another name of licensing, getting license. So hence, the modern OTT platforms should also get authorization by the government. So this, so this curtails the freedom 
of trade and business so hence here by, by providing authorization they will have a constant check on these kind of ott platforms and they can uh, pressurize these ott platforms to disclose certain sensitive informations so this is uh, about the third concern and the fourth concern the fourth broader concern is centralization of regulatory functions so there is there has been a centralization of regulatory functions by the government where certain regulatory functions of trade that is telecom regulator authority of india's powers are being uh, taken up by the central government like uh, uh, like charting out the standards of compliance like charting out the regulations which were previously done by the trade now the central government will do this so this goes against independent regulatory oversight in the telecom sector in every other sector like finance sector there are independent regulators like sebi so hence uh, this goes against an independent uh, regulatory or oversight mechanism or checks and balances by central government taking the powers of try and the fifth point of concern is the details of penalties and punishments are not given in the bill so the punishments are not given in the bill and this leads to wider power for the central government where the central government will through notifications through executive actions can release this what constitutes to punishments and what is the uh, intensity of punishment and penalties so it eventually leads to uh, overreach by the executives and then uh, the final point of concern is there are exceptions regarding spectrum allocation so this article this editorial criticizes on this point as well because the government will be empowered to allocate spectrum based on specific purposes to the close allies or close corporate allies so it has given one of the example that is adani groups so even though the article does not explicitly mentions about the allocation of spectrum based on arbitration but there are certain speculations raised by this editorial so these are all the concerns there are around 5 to 6 concerns regarding the telecommunications bill of 2023 so what should be the way forward or what should the government should include in order to revisit or reform the bill so the way forwards are very simple the government should look into the supreme court cases regarding the telecom sector the regulation of telecom sector so the famous uh, puttaswami case will shed the light regarding uh, the reforms over the bill so here in this judgment the supreme court has iterated that infringement of rights here the rights are infringed to the due to the interception due to biometric authentication due to mass surveillance due to search and seizure so all these actions which are being enabled by the telecom telecommunication bill of 2023 will infringe the fundamental rights and hence in the puttaswami case of 2017 the supreme court iterated that any infringement of fundamental rights should be proportional proportional to the need of safeguarding the public order the need to curb incitement to violence should be established first the need to curb the incitement to violence should be established first in order to intercept in order to intercept the voice calls or messages and also uh, the supreme court in the uh, case which dealt with the internet shutdown in jammu and kashmir also iterated that also reaffirmed that the government should absorb 
the principle of proportionality where the internet shutdown like actions the actions which involve internet shutdown should meet with proportionality and it should not be for prolonged period since the government having the authority to shut down the internet under telecom rules of 2017 it should not abuse such powers there should be there should not be prolonged shutdown of internet and also in terms of territorial expansion or territorial uh, need if at all a public order is disturbed in particular district the internet should not be shut down across the state so hence in the territorial aspects also the proportionality should be observed by the god so because this becomes important as our livelihood our day to day life has shifted to digital or digitized so hence any internet shutdown will have a cost on the day to day lives and also when it comes to search and seizure the supreme court in the year of 1959 itself has given certain guidelines so whenever the government moves on to search and seizure telecom operators it should provide warrant to such seizures and search and also it should have it should allow two independent witnesses to witness the search and seizure and whenever the government is seizing the property of telecom operators the government should take signatures of these two witnesses so and also when it comes to biometric authentication the supreme court has also said that any infringement of rights like right to privacy should pass the test should pass a two test one is the a uh, biometric authentication or any infringement of right to privacy should have a uh, aim and the second test is it should have proportionality so the biometric data are collected with the aim of tracking criminal activities or criminal offenders so here is where the biometric data is used famously and also popularly where the it The, where the jail authorities will take the biometric data in order to track the criminal offenders, track and identify the criminal offenders. But the taking of biometric identification for SIM card purchase is disproportional, according to this, uh, according to Supreme Court judgment. And also, Supreme Court said that whenever there are other less intrusive methods in order to establish the identity, the government should go with this. route rather than more intrusive method like biometric authentication so in the less intrusive method the other the pan card can be taken so biometric collection should not be the process the government is following and also the supreme court critically dealt with the provision of linking other with mobile number so in this a uh, case also supreme court said that the order is disproportionate and abusive of power and it is excess excessive executive decisions so this uh, case says that this order of uh, linking other which has a sensitive biometric data with the mobile numbers is arbitrary and disproportionate so hence the government moving forward should include supreme court's judgment in its bill in order to follow the rule of law so this is all about today we have taken up the recently passed tele telecommunication bill of 2023 and discussed in it it in a detailed manner and also provided way forward in terms of supreme court's judgment so this is all about today we'll take up more articles in our upcoming sessions thank you